Kumakarn. All right, we have the next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. I'm going to use a different skin because people like to see different skins. We're against Bologna as Kumba. Okay. I really don't want to lose on Kumba. Really, really, really do not want to lose on Kumba. It's a melee god, so if she kills me, I can, you know, use my sleepy time to make her stop attacking me. All right. You know, because that's a proper term. Now... I think I gotta. I think I gotta rush my Bancrofts. I can't go for a starter item. I need to get my Bancrofts and boots online as fast as possible. But I can't just skip one of them. Otherwise, I will be a sitting duck with no damage. Okay, now we can go brace or we can go sunder. I need sunder. I need sunder. It's not gonna do anything right now because obviously it's uh, level one sunder. But. Once we max it, I'll actually have some damage. And I'll need to max it. I could have started with Bracer and went second relic. Uh, second relic Sunder, but I feel like... I don't know. It's, it, it, let me let me try and explain. I feel like if I went the Bracer, she would have went anti-heal. By the time I got Sunder, it would have been too late. I didn't get my three, so I can't stop her clear. Also, I'm just gonna poke her with the Sunder. Because tier one Sunder does nothing. I have her at half health. That's not too bad. Yeah, I might as well use a tier one Sunder while it's up. Because it's not gonna. I'm not gonna be upgraded anytime soon, really. Hey, okay, decent clear, decent clear. I have my three in case she tries to use her hammer. She's just trying to heal up. Ooh, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I used all my mana. She's way more sustained than me. Way more sustained. Yeah, I can't use my three to stop her hammer right now, otherwise. I am going to be in world trouble. Did I just miss the archers? Great, now I have to back. Missed the archers. It's time to go. I can't fight. Cannot fight. Sucks because I got it back before I could even afford Bancrofts. If I didn't hit, miss the archers, it maybe could have stayed for one more wave, but it's too risky. Too risky. Alright. Let's go. I'm nothing without my Bancrofts or boots right now. So. Let's just try to minimize gold loss, you know. Let's see special emote. It's a cool emote. However, she can hear where I am across the map when I do that. So I would not be surprised if she ults over this wall. Which is why I might save my one. Okay. Have my ultimate. We are only 100 gold behind. Yeah, so that's not too bad. She's going to take her blue buff and get more gold, but that's fine. I didn't get first blooded, that's the important thing. And my passive's still up. With my passive up, I'm relatively safe. Because she is a melee god and has to come near me to attack me. I may put extra points in my three rather than my two in this match for that reason. Also, it's such a short cooldown, it's worth ulting her to steal that buff. And also get some distance away from her. Kumba ult's pretty good at that. Plus, it's like, I'm not going to be able to kill her this early. Although, she did go Berserkers, which is physical defense. Might have to rush some anti-heal. Yeah, she's going for that sustain, so we can rush some anti-heal. A Contagion, perhaps? However, cooldown is better. Oh, wait, I can get tier 1 boots. Whoops. Or, and more importantly, I can upgrade Sunder. Yeah, that's worth going back. Tier 1 boots, not really, <laughs> after I leave base, but Sunder is. Okay. So, let's think. I can go Contagion, but I kind of need Breastplate Valor. Or, or I could rush Divine Ruin for extra damage. And since I have upgrades under the one-shot capability early game, since she did not get magical defense. So, that's what I might do. I might go for a Divine Ruin. I'll be able to stay somewhat healthy with Bancrofts. Problem is, she's healing so much. keeps using that chain just for the sustain it's pretty annoying actually 
it's pretty annoying that she's just healing so much off of that. There's nothing I can do about it, but you know. Let's see if she tries to attack me. Keep her in my minion wave. Yeah, her bracer saved her, but we got a lot of damage on her. But she's just gonna heal it back up with berserkers and her three. Like I can't stop her from using that chain. Stop using the chain. Stop using the chain. Oh my god. Stop using the chain. Okay. All right, time to go. It didn't really matter whether I backed or not, since there was nothing up. Like, red buff's coming up. If I stayed, I stayed. If I backed, I backed. Just now, I have an extra item. That's why I kind of... It was kind of a lazy backslash bait to get her to take some tower shots. If she did stop me. Oh, you hate to see it. The stolen with one Kumba auto. Oh, did I miss her? Rip. <laughs> Tried to get her with the poke. Did not work. Try to get her with the Kumbo poke. Okay, I really hate that chain. This Bologna really, really likes that chain. I'll let her take her blue and I'll take my blue buff. Still only like 80 gold behind, so it's like nothing. It's nothing. Alright, time to go back. Okay, you will get some cooldown. That's very good. And I'll rush Divine Ruin since, like, her playstyle. We can tell. It's entirely sustained. That's all her playstyle is. She has Bracer. She has this. She has Wars Blessing. So if I get some anti-heal pretty early in the game, I think I'm going to burst her bubble a little bit. Oh, that didn't hit. That's the downside to having instant cast on abilities. Is sometimes you barely miss something when you're not paying attention. Most of the time it helps, so. Is she gonna ult? No. She doesn't need ult. Oh my god. Can you stop with that? Is she maxing her three? She's maxing. She's maxing her three. She's maxing her three. That's why it's doing so much damage to me when she pokes me with it. I have to run all the way back because I don't want her bursting my passive. Alright. Divine run. I could always go Breastplate plus Contagion. I don't know. I feel like I might only need one defense item. Is she rushing Frostbound or Blackthorn? Because if that's Blackthorn, Soul Reaver will be nice. Can you stop healing? Oh my lord. I need to put more points in my three. I shouldn't have put one point in my two earlier. Oh well. My lord, are you annoying with that chain? I hope she knows I'm getting Divine Rune first item. I hope she realizes that's what it is. No, don't you dare! Stop! Oh my god. She's healing more than the minions are dealing. That kind of sucks. I'll just let her have red buff. I can't really. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Actually, now I'll stay because she just wasted her sustain. Please, please, please. Yes! Okay, good. I kind of waited there to do my combo because I needed the, the power from Bancroft's. I needed to be lower health in order to kill her because, like, she's just naturally tanky. She has no protections, but she's naturally tanky. No protection items, I mean. Her base protections are pretty high. How much are they, actually? Um... 
56 magical. That's not crazy high, but somewhat high. Alright, time to go. I have no mana. I'm happy with that kill. Puts us in lead. And now we get our Divine Ruin so she can stop doing that stupid healing stuff. Also, maybe I should go with Curse Knock. Not really. Uh, I'll save my Relic for now in case she goes a horrific. Oh, never mind. She went to Frostbound. We're getting this. That is not a Blackthorn. Okay. She made the decision easy for me. I really don't want to lose this. I'm on a huge loss streak for the Guardian Gauntlet. I need a W. And now that I'm ahead, putting more points on my two is good. <laughs> I keep autopiloting, autopiloting it and putting points when I don't want to. Yeah, I have Divine Ruin now. Your healing strategy is not going to work as well now. Although it's still working somewhat. Yeah, she, now she has to run away. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. I could actually sprint to maybe kill her. Yeah. Good. Now she has to... She, she tried lazy backing. Now she's all the way over there. Might still be able to get her. Yeah. <laughs> she, she has to walk all the way back. I wasted so much of her time there. That's good. I was going to sunder her if she stayed in the Phoenix and possibly kill her. So it's a good thing she did run, after all. And I get Phoenix off of that because she took so long. We don't have enough mana to fight her. I'll, like, try to poke her down, but I don't think I'm going to fight her. There's nothing up. Only XP caps are up. Might as well just run away. Wave is cleared. Is that going to be a Hazen Katana? Maybe I should consider a mid-Guardian. But for now, I'm getting Breastplate. Is she saving her second? There's no reason to save a second rock. I already got my second rock. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna get horrific, you might as well. I can't counter it more than I already did. If you're not gonna get horrific, might as well get it because I can't get horrific. One point to my three. Every time she uses that that three, I'm pretty much just gonna yawn her. I think, or as much as I can, as well as her hammer, obviously. You can dive some more, or no? I was hoping she would dive some more and I could sunder an altar and tower. Oh, hello. I hope she keeps diving me. Because, like, I still have my passive. Yes, keep diving me. Keep diving me. Oh, no. I'm going to die. <laughs> You're not going to get me. You need to leave. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kumba passive is so troll. I know where you are. Alright, looks like she's actually back in. Her blue buff is up, but she did not take it. If she tried to take it, it would have killed her. She doesn't have any actual defense right now, so the fact that we rushed Divine Rune, which is a bunch of flat pen, 15 flat pens, pretty nice. We have our cooldown. And people have been suggesting that instead of going Obsidian, I just go a bunch of flat pen items. It's not a horrible idea. The thing is that Obsidian will usually give like 30 pen. And you that's only one item slot, right? It's like 30 pen's nice. It sucks. Obsidian sucks, I'll tell you that. But you can't get that pen in any other item, you know? Spear of the Magus is, I guess, is a decent go. Because if I hit one ability, it's technically 25 pen. Even if I don't have dot damage. Put another point in my three since that saved me. Passive's a quarter up. Still need a quite a bit more time. My two does quite a bit. No healing for you. Yeah, I think rushing divine rune completely countered this person's uh, playstyle.
Oh, I didn't hit the sunder. Oh, I missed the I missed the snipe. The reason I do that though is that the flying minion does more damage than our regular minions. Yeah, I was I was trying to save that for a hammer and she just happened to use that there. I'm probably dead though. Yeah. She has too much movement speed. The reason I go for the plays like that, it like if there's no minions near me, and I go for the turnaround with the one, is because flying minion does more damage. It's only a tiny bit more damage. It scales harder. Scales harder and more base damage, but it is more damage. So if it does it's not like I'm gonna kill kill with just bouncing her with my one, then I go for it. I could always go demonic. <laughs> I'm gonna try. No, I'm gonna. Since she's Bologna, I'm gonna go Obsidian. There's no way she doesn't build more defense. But this is too early to go to it because she doesn't have any defense yet. I'll go for a Poly and then. Or a Soul Reaver? How much health does she have? Yeah, Soul Reaver. Then we'll go for an Obsidian based on what she builds. We'll prioritize our build, switching it up since she doesn't have any magic protections yet. That Frost Talus, though, hurts quite a bit. If I didn't have cooldowns, I would not be able to get away from her, ev like, ever. It's a shame I missed that Sunder, too, because she was she would have maybe been done. Did he get defense? Oh, she got defense. That's just my luck, though. Frost Talus against the Guardian. Okay. Also, oh, one thing I want to point out. Everybody, every single game, the comments are super toxic against my opponent. Sometimes, if my opponent's toxic, then it's deserved. But a lot of times, my opponent will just be, like, playing the game normally. And it's like, it can be frustrating and annoying, but they do not deserve the toxicity they are getting in the comments. So I'm going to ask you guys to stop that, okay? Unless they message me something toxic, then they do not deserve it. They're just playing the game. It's, it's the way the game mode was designed. You know, and it's unbalanced game mode, so that's kind of comes with it, you know? So, just I'm just saying. And if other people are being toxic like that, call them out on it. In extreme scenarios, perhaps. Like, if a Loki never attacks me. That's, like, an extreme scenario. But, like, this this is, like, just Bologna playing the game. See, I want to use my one on her, but then I'll know I'll get slowed and stuff. She's still healing too much. I might need Contagion anyways. Plus, she doesn't have that much pen. Oh, I missed my anti-heal. That sucks. Because now she's back to full health. Soul Reaver will be so nice. Because she was wanting to build into health for because of Berserkers. And once I take that away from her, you know. Okay. Now we go into Obsidian. Because she's actually getting quite a bit of magical protections. 140 is like the 140 magical protections where obsidian is like, okay, I'm actually a good item. <laughs> Before that, it's like I have to build into it because there's no other itemization options. I'd love if high res would in, in, introduce more pen items. They'd, they'd have to balance it and probably add more protection items too, but some more, some more pen options would be nice. There's way more magical defense items and more physical defense items than there are pen options. Like actual pen options, like percent pen. Percent pen is very important. Like if they made a demonic grip for abilities, but it does not stack with demonic grip. Like kind of how they added contagion. It doesn't stack with pestilence, but it's a physical defense pestilence, you know? That was a great solution. Holy moly, that frostbound really slows me down. That really slows me down. Trying to keep that Divine Ruin applied as much as I can. Oh, she went Shogun's. Okay. Makes sense. She's going to auto attack. Healing build. I'll probably get Contagion next. She hasn't taken my blue at this game, which is great. Not too much is happening right now. It's mainly just us getting our items online. Okay. 
Can I buy tier 2 obsidian, please? No, I cannot. Get some wards. Here's the thing. If she does not have diminishing returns applied to her for then and I die, I can use my 3 and she shouldn't be able to kill me. If I've CC'd her a bunch, my 3 won't last that long and she will be able to kill me easily. And that's most fights, so I think pretty sure she's going to a chin size. Or executioner, that's gonna be executioner. I can sell my boots for contagion. Or for rod if I'm feeling kinda of gutsy. No, I can't take this. Well actually yeah I can. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> I'm now Poseidon main. Poseidon main's always alt blue buff. Once you once you realize it, you can't unsee it. In duel, Poseidon mains always alt their blue buff whenever you try and contest it. I've been banning Poseidon a lot lately, but it's still kind of hilarious. I'm just trying to keep that divine rune applied as much as I can. She's still healing a ton, which is actually kind of crazy. And my ult's almost ready. We might actually be able to kill her. As long as I don't die. Look at that attack speed. Dang. No, don't heal more. Oh my god. Okay, I can't do anything. She heals way too much. <laughs> She's probably back to full health. I can only apply Divine Rune so much. Like, I could have used my one to try and steal it or apply Divine Rune, but then what happens? Then I'm a sitting duck to her Frostbound. You know? It slows me down too much. So that would not have been the play. Using my one to apply divine rune or to kill her or to damage a buff i wouldn't have been able to kill her a but i would have been a sitting duck you know okay we have obsidian now should be able to do quite a bit more damage the soul reaver will do a lot more too might just alter for the hell of it this time i have my two up She has beads, interesting. That's actually good for her. Angled it towards her. That was smart of her. That was overkill. <laughs> Running away was smart. Ulting over the wall was overkill. I can't take, I don't have a poly unfortunately, so I can't take bull demon. <sighs> and going a poly might not be the play. Because if I go poly, she can just mitigate it with her one. She's not using her one at all. Oh. If I was to build against this Bologna and her playstyle purely, I would probably go Contagion. Or a Polly because she's not using her one. But if she cha switches up her playstyle in the slightest, a Polly could screw me over big time if she starts using her one instead of her three. Because if you auto someone with Polly and they, and they have a block stack, it gets completely mitigated. The Polly. It really sucks. How much is my sword for doing? 172? That's not too bad. Might be able to kill her here. Nice! Yeah, she does not have enough defense. She built into health and a small defense item against Kumbakarna. And now I have Sunder and a bunch of power and Soul Reaver. You know? I'm pretty sure Sunder increases damage to Soul Reaver too, which is nice. Your Soul Reaver hit for 311 there. I'm going to ult it for almost 800. Not sure if I can take this. I'll do it anyways. My passive is up. Oh, yeah, I can take this, obviously. I don't know how much I can do to Titan, though. I'll stay only because I have my passive up. No, I actually... No, she's respawning. Time to dip. I was going to do at least two abilities to Titan, but she was right there. It was like, eh. Never mind. Is this up yet? Nope. 
If we can get red buff, that would be huge. All right. She also has no pen, so contagion is now a very clear, uh, clear item to build into. She has no pen whatsoever, so this is the the big brain play. I don't have my power potion, which could hurt my cooldown, but that's okay. Did you take red buff? Yes, you did. Okay, that's unfortunate. So she has to sell her Hasa Katana or Frostbound for execution. I recommend her selling her Frostbound because... No, her Hasa Katana. Because Bologna Passive pretty much is a Hasa Katana. And she's easy, she can stick to me easily with one item. She doesn't need both. The reason she... Whenever she can't stick to me is because of my CC, which those items don't help with at all. Just poke. Disengage. Go back in. Poke again. Alright, you know what? We'll just back. She's going back to base. I need my power potion. She has red buff. Wait out her red buff. Get a power potion. Smart, smart play. She has to sell this. She has to. Like, I've completely counterbuilt this one item. And once she sells, she sells that, I can sell Divine Rune for either a spear, like a, like a spear of Deso, a rod of Tehuti, something like that. Or I could just keep it because, you know, Bologna base healing is still pretty high. Oh, she got some counter wards, huh? You're not actually backing right there, though, are you? Oh, great. I got to book it. I would love to turn and try and kill her there. I should I shouldn't have sundered. I should have just known I was using that for an escape. Oh, or I could have maybe tried to kill her. Maybe I could have killed her. I don't know. On the off chance I didn't kill her, that could have been game though. You know, with this amount of auto attack, she can take Phoenix very fast. I'll just say I played it safe, you know. I've lost, I've been losing too many games. Although playing it safe is how you lose as guardian sometimes. Because now Phoenix is coming up and I'm in the worst position. Alright, my two's down. Can't engage. Oh shoot, I went the wrong way. Okay. Good. I don't have my ability up, but, you know. She can ult out of the wave? Okay. Alright, I need to take this Phoenix, like right now. Okay, she walked back. Okay, yeah, she walked back. I can take this. Good. Polly would be very nice, but I can't get it right now. I have no cooldowns up. Does she realize that? No. Okay. <laughs> she could have auto attacked me for five seconds straight for free. Probably could have killed me. Oh, that's all it is. Five seconds without my cooldowns, you know? She still hasn't switched her build. She must be saving up for a 3k pop. She has to be. Have my Sunder up? I might purposely make my Bancrofts have more power. Yawn. Sunder ult. I have minions. Yes. Okay. The lost streak is over. Rejoice. Rejoice. I don't have to play Yorm. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. We don't got to go back to Kepri. Don't got to go back to Yorm. Don't got to go back to any of those gods. Oh, a lot was on the line for that game. A lot was on the line. GG. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm sorry. It, like, I apologize about all the losses, but I can't really control it. We're back on the wins, though. We're gonna win this thing, okay? That okay, this is a fun look when Bologna came out. This is how I played Bologna, like all the couple times I picked Bologna because it's fun to go max attack speed with your three and just see your health bar go up. It doesn't work that well when I have two anti heal items, though. She should have definitely sold this for either I had Soul Reaver plus Obsidian, so more protection and health was not the answer. So she could have gotten she did sell her what did she sell for executioner? I didn't even notice. Her boots? I guess her boots for executioner, but what did could she have sold this for? 
Hmm. Maybe like an Ansel or Runic Shield. Something that's like defense, but it's not crazy health or protection to make these two items better. It's mainly the passives to make it better. Runic Shield late game is kind of bad, though. So perhaps an Ansel. I don't really know, Bologna. At this point, you would have had to transition into a normal Bologna build, and you can't really do that when you have this, these many different items. Either way, GG.